Hey guys, it's Little Al back again, and dear god, he's in a different location. Yep, I have changed location only for this video, as far as far as I know. Um, and the reason for this is fairly quite simple. Um, so like everyone's my my immediate family, so like my brother, my brothers and sisters uh, are coming home for the holidays, and so the house is a bit hectic. Like they've got work to do, and my my youngest sister's got university study to go. So my house is a bit busy at the moment. So really, I don't really have time to. Um, I don't really have the quiet find the quiet time to like record. So I to um, it elsewhere, um, which is a place fairly isolated from the rest of the house. Um, the acoustics in here aren't brilliant, I'm not going to lie. A um, little bit echoey, but hopefully not too distracting. Um, but no, um, as for reactions, we are back with Friendship is Tragic. Um, episode 5 ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, I'm not going to lie. And <laughs> so... Um, as far as as far as as far as we know, so it it actually it went on a bit of a twist um, last episode. So what I what I mean by this is uh, we've been kind of so the past. So it's basically what it's been doing is it's been going through um, the backstories of um, the main the rest of the main six whilst Twilight was in a coma, and um, they've all been um, so f up until um, up until episode five. We found that all. All the main six have been put in their kind of less than ideal situation, the complete opposite of their ideal situation. So Applejack, she lost her family, her, bo her sweet Apple Acres, Rainbow Dash lost her wings and also, and consequently, her confidence. And um, <laughs> Fluttershy's lost her voice. But then you get to Rarity, um, which is, um, she's com she's almost like, it's almost like her ideal situation, in a way. But, um... But it's 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 rarity with no strings attached. Let me put it that way. So like it's rarity in a very a very rich kind of poncy environment, which you'd picture rarity in. How however her generosity is completely gone. This is on and I think there's a quote that's in the previous episode that said uh, we are not defined by one l by one personality trait, which is. A bit of a slice of life, um, really. <laughs> yes, that I know. That's a tag on film fiction. Come on. Um, but I think I think it's interesting, kind of seeing Rarity. This was what what Rarity would be like if she hadn't met the others, almost in a way. And uh, it's been left on a bit of a cliffhanger, and it's implied that she may have mutilated Fluttershy, in, like she's removed her voice, <laughs> which is. Rather disgusting. I'm not sure if we're going to see any grotesque imagery this episode, but uh, we are fast closing in on the end of this series, and I am looking forward to getting back into this. So, um, as always, drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too if you want to see more content like this, and uh, let me know of your Christmas plans as well. Just have a casual chat in the comments. And with that, let's get into this. I've seen that intro six times and it's still terrifying. <laughs> Previously on Friendship is Tragic. After reuniting with Applejack and Rainbow Dash, we were all surprised when Fluttershy pulled up to the tavern where we had met in a glittering, bejeweled carriage emblazoned with the letters R-D-E. While I had hoped this meant that at least one of my friends was doing well in life, a tussle between Dash and Applejack resulted in Fluttershy intervening to break it up, and her choker being torn off, revealing an ugly scar all around her neck from a wound so severe it has permanently damaged her ability to speak. Oh, so that's the scar! I thought that was... Oh, Jesus, yeah, you can see it there. So that's... that's the scar. I missed that. Bloody hell, that's... that that's awful. The pony she was traveling that's... with... That'll make, the, that'll make Heath Ledger's Joker Rarity jealous. Divine Enterprises, and that Rarity herself had sent Fluttershy to meet with us and take us back to her mansion rather than come to see us at the tavern. Thus, we journeyed to the most ostentatious house I have ever seen in my life. 
The Scribbler is really good at gra <laughs> Her grammar um, range is very, is very Rarity good. Rarity herself, at very first, satisfactory. seemed just the same as she used to be when I had last seen her, albeit a lot wealthier these days. When talking with her one-on-one, -on -one, however, I was shocked to hear the way she talked about her friends, so cruelly and unsympathetically that it left me reeling and wondering just how much she has really changed after all. Well, we're about to find out. Let's go. Dark the stars and dark Something new. <laughs> And also, it's bloody freezing, but... Actually, this looks stupid. One thing I will say about this series is that it's it's kept its tone really well. Like, yeah, like, like obviously the first episode um, had a real emphasis on gore, but I think it's really kept to its um, tragic tone. <laughs> like, there's a real set. It's it's not like a gore fic or grimdark. It's it's a tragedy. These are um, characters that have cha their sense of characters of change for the worse. You know. Hush. And the ocean tide Tell the soldiers And beat on your drum Call their master Call their son Rip Celestia Dark the stars And dark I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. I don't I like I don't know what's gonna happen. If we're gonna see like Flutter and I get that scar or I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know how this series is gonna end. I seriously like probably okay, maybe I'm jumping to conclusion because I haven't seen like this this episode yet. But I honestly can't see a way which this can end. Like it it's most likely going to be a sad ending considering it's a tragedy like that's dramatic convention but um how sad is it is it is it going to physically break me that's that's what i'm wondering because <laughs> episode one definitely broke me i was so sort of broken by episode three but let's just say i've been enjoying this i've really been enjoying this series Friends like these are a rarity. That's probably my favourite pun, uh, like title pun so far. Those and are paintings I said, on the wall. Fancy pants, my dear sweet summer child. You cannot possibly be serious. Wearing white after Equestria Day? <laughs> Why, it's so gauche I may be physically ill. And, of course, every pony laughed because... Oh! What? Oh, darlings! You look positively scrumptious! <laughs> so clean and neat Weird. as a pin now. Weird oh, word choice, but wonderful job very rarity. Shy. Why, I barely recognize them as the same ponies I used to know. Is this ah. really necessary? 
She looks like she looks like she looks like a blue Spitfire in that image with the mane curled back. <laughs> Gotta Sash. agree with Dash here. Why oh, about time. Wear these duds rarity. I don't feel. You agree on something? Right. Oh nonsense, Applejack darling. Uh, you both look uh, <coughs> uh wonderful. And now sit, sit. Dinner will be served. Rarity. Rarity's character animation is stellar. It's absolutely stellar. Fluttershy, could you please be Just in conveying emotion. We'll check on how Chef Cheval is doing with our meal. Chef Cheval. <sighs> hey, Aww. Fluttershy, aren't you going to eat with us too? Mm -hmm. uh, Fluttershy? Hey, don't leave so soon. I can, I can, I can imagine eating would hurt, would hurt if she's got that massive scar on her throat. <laughs> leave her be, darling. She's fine. I beg to differ on the word fun. I agree. So, Rarity, we're all here at dinner. You promised to explain about what happened to Fluttershy. Hmm. Here we go. Well, I was going to start with the fabulous story of my rise to the top, but I suppose that she isn't here to get upset. Is that her hoof? That, uh, that... Look at her, look at her. Look at her! Look at her right hoof. It just looks like it's floating, for some reason. I can tell you. Actually, oh no! I'm, oh no! That's a oh no! That's a bow on the back. Her, her hoofs are crossed over in front of her on the table. That part of the tail first. That's that's one of the difficulties with two D animation. There are some, there are some things which look so similar to some, something else that you get absolutely tripped out by. I'm afraid if you don't I know can't. What, if you don't know what what I mean, then I'll go kill myself. Don't worry. Are you? Every detail is the poor thing hasn't been able to speak I since I found her. I enjoy I can, doing these however, too much. tell you how I found her. Slave traders had. What? What do you mean, slave traders? What was she doing with them? And what were you doing involved with slavers, Rarity? Slave traders? I I in Equestria? That. That's barbaric. That can't be true. I'm afraid it's true, Twy. I've taken down a couple in my travels. I try to sneak out ponies out of Equestria and sell them in countries outside our borders, where ponies can just disappear without a trace. Or they bring in non-pony folk to sell to Equestrian ponies who think it's okay to own other creatures. Because and now I'm just imagining a pony version of the Coachman for Pinocchio. Because <laughs> they reason. ain't ponies. Oh, don't worry, there's no risk. They never come back as boys. <laughs> Damn dirty bastards. A lot of them. But... but dirty bastards. But Princess Luna never said anything about... Princess Luna don't know half of what's going on in Equestria. She knows the noble ponies and all they're in fighting and politicking. But as common ponies... Politicking. <laughs> well, we I'm pretty sure that's not a word. Sales. Well, she figured her shit out after Celestia died. If I can continue my story, I will get to all of that shortly. <clears throat> now then, from what I understand, after you left and went missing, Twilight, Fluttershy became more and more obsessed with helping animals. I think she got some sort of comfort and peace from helping them. And that aided her distress when we received word of your presumed death. How long have you known Fluttershy? You do regular spa dates with her. And Princess Celestia's actual passing. So much so that Fluttershy began to look closer to the Everfree Forest for the more exotic creatures who required her kind of aid. I think she held the memory of pulling that thorn from the manticore's paw quite dear and wished to replicate that feeling to recapture some of the sense of belonging of the kind that she had the night we fought Nightmare Moon. Gossip around Ponyville said she would often travel out there alone. Before I moved away, I tried to talk some sense into her, but, well, you know how she is. By sense. Was. She would not listen to reason. Insisted the animals needed her more than any pony possibly ever could. Correct her thinking about that? I seem to recall.
appalled at you leaving her behind for the Wonderbolts had hit her particularly hard in that regard, Rainbow. So maybe you shouldn't be so quick to judge me. Hmm? Me? Uh, I, uh, 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 uh. Well, one can only assume that at some point on one of her forages beyond the safety of Ponyville's outer limits, she was filly-napped by a group of griffin slavers. I'm not sure for how long she was in their captivity, but judging by the damage from her slave collar, I would assume it was a long time. I had written to her many times from Manhattan, but I'd never heard from her. I assumed she had no more need of pony friends and had given herself over completely to her animals. Unbeknownst to me, absolutely no pony knew where she had gone. Her cottage fell into ruin. The last I knew, the so had image. encroached over it completely. Just Fluttershy's just flush, just flush cottage with just like with just like cobwebs all over the place and just in a dark dingy, just a dark dingy place. That's such a, that's such a dystopian image. I love it. And her house had reverted to being just another tree. Oh, how awful. Poor Fluttershy. Well, a few years ago, my business was truly taking off and... I needed laborers to do some of the, uh, manual labor. <laughs> and I will confess, what I manual labor did do you dabble have them a doing? little bit in the black market. My funds were short. What with the overheads of expanding into Manhattan, the rising costs of fabric and other materials, Sweetie Belle's private boarding school, my parents reliant on my income to keep them comfortable, and what with the economy being what it was after Princess Celestia was... I mean... <laughs> Princess Luna gave us all hope, but the markets are capricious things. Hope isn't always enough to keep prices at a point where a young, upcoming fashionista is able to make a name for herself by strictly legal means. What I'm trying to say is, I She's know it was something. very unladylike to seek cheaper options, but I was a young, naive, silly mare who could not possibly have foreseen. Rarity. Stop trying to justify yourself and get on with it. Yes. Well, I happened upon a set of griffin, uh, merchants who promised they could employ ponies at a cheaper rate than any of the other building firms I had approached for quotations. Now, girls, you have to understand at this point that I treat all of my workers fairly, and never had any intentions of treating them as actual slaves. However, they were marketed to me. They're all paid Why are you saying that with a stern still here, image expression? Have excellent living quarters, three square meals a day, a community of like-minded workers with whom to socialize on sight. And besides, who would not wish to work surrounded by all the beautiful things I create? Why, that's practically a payment in itself. <laughs> <laughs> They've got everything they could want. Except the ability to leave, right? <clears throat> ah. While these merchants were explaining their business model to me, I was taken to meet their workers. Another flashback. They're well paced, I will say. Like this kind of... It gives the... um. I should pause this. It gives the uh, character speaking in question time to kind of speak their piece before we kind of we the audience kind of sink in what actually what actually happened with a full on flashback. I, I think they're very well pla paced. Placed. Very well paced. And this is our latest imported stock. What does that tunnel remind me of? Like, I'd like to know if there's any inspiration behind that tunnel. Uh, some of it's said like, to be shipped out like the, the color next palette and lighting in the morning, and but you can take a look at the stock that's not already reserved for sale in Minos. I do wish you would not refer to them like that. They are living creatures, after all. Says the pony who's mm -hmm. willing to pay for them living creatures like they're bits of cloth. The economy has not been at its best since Princess Celestia was taken from us. Ooh. I refuse to think of myself as a monster, but... If I don't find some way to make ends meet, then I stand to lose everything. Complex. All my years and years of hard work conflict. just gone. Not to mention the effect it would have on my family. Who are you trying to convince? Me or you? If I am to... 
His face looks like an owl. <laughs> make a living at all? Then some sacrifices must be Who's made. Who's Oh dear god, I'm a monster. I'm a slave trading monster. You're very rude for someone who hopes to make a sale today. And you're very uppity for someone who knows she's talking to a slave trader about buying some slaves. Well, if I'm going to do this, let's just take a look at them then. As you wish, m'lady. M'lady. Oh dear. Those sounds disturbing. I'm pretty sure they're extra voice actors. Oh my goodness, they're, they're ponies. Well, what did you expect? I I don't know. Y yaks or minotaurs or other griffins or something, but <laughs> ponies. Oh, so you were willing to buy them as long as they weren't your own kind? Yeah, you're Racist. totally not a monster, my lady. Why are some of them in cages? They're feisty. The cages are a training tool. We call it uh, crate training. You know, like with dogs. Sweet Celestia. Uh, she ain't here anymore, lady. If she was, you'd better believe Sweet you Luna. be talking to me right now. And not just because of your economy. Equestrian borders are a heck of a lot easier to travel through these days. Royal guards don't even check our cargo anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if the new Night Princess is a fan of slavery herself. It was legal back when she was last around, after all. Oh, okay. Who are you trying to convince? Okay. Me or you? Touché. Now, are you still interested in buying some of our product, or have you lost your nerve? I... I'm losing I, my nerve. I, I don't! It's too horrible! Okay. Then I guess you'll be leaving to find some more expensive employees who fit your pony sensibilities more. I'm sure you can afford to keep your business afloat while with paying their taxes and wages and overhead costs you have. You're rich, right? No, wait! I... I will inspect your products, but... Do you have any... non-pony varieties? Sure. Follow me. They're in the next room. You mean we have to go through this one to reach it? Past all those cages? Or you can walk back through the other door and leave. All right then. Lead the way. <laughs> you hiding your face with your mane? Holy crap, you ponies are too much. I will thank you not to... What? Oh my! Hey, get away from there! It's far shy, shy, isn't it? Yep. Is that that's you? that's why she was in a cage in the intro. Oh, now look at her! Look at her! Oh darling! Oh darling! This is what you've been all this time. We all thought. Oh, darling! Hey, I told you to get away. This one ain't for sale. I... I'll pay whatever price you want for her. No, this one ain't for sale. Any price you ask. The answer's no. We like having her around. She's our favorite. And she goes where we go, and only oh. where we go. What do you mean, favorite? Well, it gets lonely on the road comes to see us unless they want to buy or sell our product. And winter nights Oh no, they don't. Long. <laughs> Is that a rape reference? <laughs> How taboo can you get? <laughs> oh my. So, my god. Like I said, this one ain't for sale. Now get away from that cage, lady. Please, That's got to be please, a rape reference. I beg of you. I don't care how much it costs, but please let oh, her go. Sick. She wouldn't be any use to you anyhow. You want product to sew and work and make clothes and shit for you. This one can't even talk anymore. One of these boys got too rough okay. going on the... I've, I've, I'm respecting Rarity a, a bit more now. I was about to say, like, because it teased... Because it teased the last episode that she had done it herself. But um, she still has a... Humanity. <laughs> what's the what's the word for 
Ponin ponanity. Well, what whatever the word is. Collar one too many her, times. Plus her leg got busted. Her last pony time humanity. We'll, do, we'll go with that. And if I say that if you do not release her from captivity, I will take this place apart bit by bit with my magic and destroy every inch of it until it's nothing but rubble. I'd say rubble? the anti-magic enchantments on the place were made by unicorns much more powerful than you, little pony. And there are more of my guys outside this door than you could fight your way through while carrying this pony and her busted leg. Oh, she oh. has a broken leg as well! I was... I was oh. planning to buy several items today. At least three based on the price you quoted me. But I will give literally all of it to you in exchange for her. All of it. For one pony. A pony you freely admit is... damaged. Still no. What will it take for you to give her to me? <laughs> well now, now I can think of a few things. You could take her place. What? Oh no. Now, I guess we could replace her with one of the others we picked up on this trip. But we won't have time to break another one in before we leave for Minos. You agree to stick around here with me and my guys until we leave. And I'll consider letting you buy your friend here. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a trap. Don't worry, Fluttershy, darling. I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I know where this is going. I agree to your terms on the strict contractual obligation that you let us both go tomorrow alive when you leave. And I want that in writing. <laughs> You'll be wishing you were dead, I think. You really I are this. too funny sometimes. Okay, I think I know where, where that was going. Nice. Oh, Rarity. I had to fight for Fluttershy. Not physically fight, you understand, but with deals and cold, hard negotiations. Eventually, I used every single scrap of my earnings up to that moment to purchase her freedom, but I valiantly spent it all. After we got out of there, we hugged and cried and cried and hugged. I brought her back to my home in Manhattan, okay. and she... I don't know why I was thinking it was going where it was, where it was going where it was going because, pro probably because of of what what they did to Fluttershy. They to heal. I was while concerned. I, I tried to figure out what I would do now that I'd spent literally everything I had. Luckily, I already owned the building. It was a tumble down. And okay, I'd they cheated her out of all the money, basically. And it was largely full of the fabric and equipment I needed to get by for a little while, but. After that time had passed, I didn't know what I would do. Fluttershy needed doctors and medicine and all sorts of expensive things. And the Griffin merchant had made it quite clear to me that if I made trouble for them, things would go very badly for me. So, you didn't even try to report to the authorities that you knew the location of the warehouse where slavers were storing equestrian citizens to sell as slaves? I believe they made good on their promise in small ways to show me that they could indeed do it on a larger scale. When I tried to purchase new fabric, I found very few would trade with me, and those who would were frightened, and they wouldn't sell me nearly as much as I needed. And when I tried to fetch gems using my special talent, I was mugged by assailants on my way home, and everything was stolen from me. I got their message loud and clear, and so I kept my mouth shut. That ain't right, Rare. That still ain't right. We all do Elements of honesty, to be fair. We're not proud of when we're pushed far enough and lose enough. I believe you know that fact intimately, don't you, Applejack? <sighs> Judge me if you will, but desperation is an unwelcome bedfellow. In the end, when Fluttershy was recovered enough, I entreated her to work for, uh, to work with me, to help my business fly again in such inauspicious circumstances. I had so few options between me and ruin. 
I'd spent more than just all my bits on her, so she was eager to help me, of course. Ever so eager. I had to be inventive and more creative in my ideas to save myself, my business, and my future. Darlings, I had to think so far outside the box, I could not even see the box anymore. Fluttershy agreed, and so she became my assistant, and, latterly, my standard bearer, if you will. And now she and I live side by side, with a whole workforce to support everything we've built together. Though she does go out of her way for me sometimes a little too much. I've told her time and time again, she's under no obligation to do anything she does not want to do. But she always pushes herself to her limits, just for my benefit. But you know she will, Rarity. She's your friend. She feels guilty about you sacrificing so much for her. Hmm. In her mind, she will probably always be in your debt. I know it might be me jumping to conclusions, but she doesn't seem happy here. When we were traveling in the carriage, she was flinching at just the mention of your name, and... She seems terribly upset, almost like she's scared of you. Hmm. Yeah, something doesn't add up about your story. Oh boy. Why is Fluttershy so scared? PTSD? You have no idea what she has suffered, darling. There's no more idea. to it than that, isn't it? Trauma does things to ponies. It can make them harsher. I, I don't know. Sharpen their soft edges into harsh angles. If this is, if there is more to it than that, then there's, it's gen, gen, Rarity's being genuinely deceptive. As I said, desperation is a nasty bedfellow, and the only way to rid yourself of it is to change yourself until you're no longer too soft to do what needs to be done. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think it's fear Fluttershy is feeling, darling. More of an ongoing disagreement between us on certain methods I use in my business practices. Okay. What kind of methods? Better or worse than buying slaves to serve you. You see, these kinds of clothing we're all wearing were how I managed to salvage my business after I rescued Fluttershy. The nobility fall over themselves just to have one on order, because the materials used to make them are rare, to say the least. <laughs> <clears throat> Normal fabric um. just will not do. Not for these ponies and their upper-class money. It's all about appearances for them. Ordinary fabrics are simply just not good enough. Where's the wow factor in silk, satin, or chiffon? Where is the opulence in um, ordinary rubies, diamonds, or sapphires? My designs are second to none. But if they are made from the same as every other designer, or worse, with from? lesser materials I could afford, then they would remain unpurchased on the rack. High-class ponies need something exotic. Something oh, that screams superiority. Producing garments no pony in the lower classes could or would wear is what has made me the designer I am today and created my fashion empire. So what Since it's do you shy, use that disagreeing. disagrees with? Since it is Fluttershy. Do you use more uh, organic materials? It is. Organic? <laughs> you mean from plants and things? No. Please. No. Pants. Kinda remind me of that manticore smell when we. Oh my when God! We in she, she's the turned into a Cruella. She's turned time. into a Cruella. Holy shit! Is this, is this fabric what I think it is? Holy shit! Oh my gosh! It's, the ripping doesn't feel good. It's furs. Get it off me! Get it off I knew it. With those, they cost a fortune to make. Oh my I wonder god, if I seem so disturbed when we were putting <laughs> them on. You kill animals to make these clothes, Rarity? How, 
How could you do that? It's a common practice, but... We do not kill animals. We merely recycle the dead ones. Or if there's a dangerous creature that is bothersome, That's... we put it to better use. We're not barbarians, Twilight. Well, this it's is... It's quite barbaric. Perfect. Just oh, absolutely perfect. Twilight? Oh, what a beautiful reunion this has turned out to be. Uh-oh. My best friends have turned out to be a violent dun, dun, vigilante, dun, dun, dun. a reckless dun, dun, alcoholic, dun, dun, dun. and the mute accomplice to a barbaric ice queen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. Okay. Oh, love how our mains turn black then. Like, I, it's, it's very, um, it's not... Real <laughs> realistically, it should stay purple, but it's kind of it's it's really it's symbolic. This isn't right. It wasn't supposed to be like this for us. We were. We were. It isn't. We were in the canon. It isn't. <laughs> it's not in the canon. I'm sorry, Twa. None of us wants to see you so upset. After all you've been through to find us, but. Well, we can't change what life has made us. We all wish things had stayed the same from all those years back. Well, except maybe it's Rarity. It's true. She seems to be doing all right for herself, however she got to this point. <laughs> but you need to be strong, Twi. Things could be a lot worse than they are. At least we're all still alive, right? Life's done knocked us down a bunch, but we still got back up. We're still here, still living, yeah. still fighting, hmm. and still us. Mm -hmm. Just maybe not the versions of us you remember. That mm. don't make us any less than who we are, or were, or will be, or whatever. A rare sense right. of optimism in You're this right. series. <laughs> I'm sorry, every pony. Oh. I'm being so selfish. I can't You're blame so her. Wrapped up in my vision of us all meeting up and everything being back like the old days that that I never took into consideration that your lives may have led you in different directions than the ones in my imagination. It ain't how we want it either, Sugar Cube. But that's, it honestly could have been much worse. We're alive, and we're together. We can figure out the rest as we go. Not quite all together again. Oh no. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how Pinky turned out. Oh. Uh, mm. oh, she knows something. Uh, she knows something. Uh, oh no. They all know something. What? Say that name out loud, Twilight. What, Pinkie Pie? Oh, dang, <laughs> Hold your tongue. But I, I don't understand. Why don't you talk about Pinkie Pie? Dun, 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 the love of all that is fashionable and beautiful. Please <laughs> refrain from saying that name. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that just made me laugh. What? But all that is fashionable and beautiful. That's just such a rarity line. <laughs> That's the joke here. You keep telling me not to mention Pinkie Pie, but you Shut won't up. tell me why, which of course is going to make me mention her more. Please don't tell me there are children watching this. Fluttershy, what is your reaction if I say the name Pinkie Pie? <laughs> what happened to Pinkie Pie? Is she... Is she dead? Oh my gosh. She's I don't dead. think she is. No, I don't Isn't think she, she is. Twilight. Pinky. She kind of... Shut up, Rainbow! Shut your damn mouth right now! We all <laughs> promise That's not to... be so you difficult. Fuck me, Apple Crap! Don't <sighs> touch me! She has a right to know! I think we should tell her! After all the other oh, bad news she's had to put up with today... I'm about to break. Fucking hell! Uh, my table! My crock 
Sorry, Applejack, you beast. Stop that this instant. That's the least of your worries. <laughs> oh, no. Is this going to be a full-on fight Twi scene? Twilight, Pinky is... I said no! Yep. <laughs> Considering she's the element of honesty... James. You've been laughing so hard? Thank you, broke the gods! So gods. am I! Will somebody please restrain that monster before she ruins any more of my precious possessions? Yes, Lady oh, Rarity. shut up, Come Rarity. here, you! Get your stinking hooves off me! God style, bloody hell. Come on! Oh, then. I can take all of you! Give me all you got! Ah, She'd be an excellent Jack. spy in Team Fortress you 2. You hear me? Ain't nothing gonna stop Anger Jack! Protect Lady Rarity at all costs! <laughs> Twilight, Fluttershy, come on. We must leave before you get hurt. I can't just Rarity? leave She's Applejack hurt. and Dash to kill each other. Go with Rarity, Fluttershy. I'll... Uh, I'll calm them down or, or something. <laughs> Rarity, make sure Fluttershy stays safe. I um, always do, darling. Okay. So she has compassion, but only for Fluttershy. Twy, listen to me. I said don't. We all promised we wouldn't speak about her, and I don't plan to break that promise, even if Twy is here. But... What happened? She has a right to know. What happened? Twy, I don't... I said shut up, Rainbow. Was... No! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay, thank god, okay, thank god. Thank god, Look thank out, god. The thank god. It's coming down! Candle Candles! They've set the curtains on fire! Everybody out, quick! Oh, oh well, that escalated Robert, quickly. Everyone run! Dash! Help! Somebody help me! I'm sorry! Oh Dash, I'm sorry! Dash! Oh no. Fucking killed her in dash. I'm not I'm not strong enough to lift you. Please, you there, help me! No! Don't you understand? This is my chance! I can escape in the confusion! Please! Oh, you, you fucking bitch! You don't know what it's like here! I can't stay here anymore. I, can't I just can't. I actually can't deal with this. I'm sorry. I can't. I might not get another chance. No, wait, please. Here, let me. You're the one who yes, knocked her back. out. Yes. You think I'm going to let you touch her now that she can't fight back? I ain't asking. There we go. There we go. Put your differences aside. Oh, my mansion! It's on fire! You barbarians! What have you done? You'll buy a new one. You'll be fine, Rare. You always are. No, she won't. <laughs> now your other side's scarred. Why? You... You slapped me. <laughs> well done. Uh, I guess I deserve that. You idiot! You could have killed her! Breaking point. You could have killed her! You could have... killed her! You could have killed her! Fucking hell, I'm dying here! I want to die! I want to die! I want to die. Please, do me a favor. When Dash wakes up, oh tell her. Tell her I'm sore. About a bit late for that. Tell her yourself. I, I can't. Not after this. Fucking God. I gotta go. And toi. Whatever that flapper mouth says, don't go looking for her. For Why not? Pinky. 
Just don't. Please. What Just the hell don't. happened? Applejack, wait! Don't, don't go! Not like this! Not like this! <laughs> Oh my my beautiful home! My workshop! Oh, shut my up! Everything! Shut it's up! It's all gone thanks to those two ruffians! Ugh, you stupid mules! What are you doing? Find water and put this fire out right there! My mules! Maybe it's not too late. I can still salvage some of the dresses in the east wing. Look at her horn! Yeah. Look at her horn! What is that? Was that a person major? That's an Ursa Major, right? <laughs> That's... <coughs> That's an Ursa Minor! Oh, it's a minor. But why is it here? They're in hibernation at this time of year. Oh no! Oh no, she captured them. She captured them and put them in cages. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching that scene from Raccoons and Lost Star. I feel like I'm watching that scene from Raccoons and Lost Star where they where they break all the animals out of the mountain. <laughs> And they just run over a guard. And I recommend that film, by the way. It's really good. They never leave the Everfree Forest. What is one doing running around here? And, and uh, all these animals. She captured them. Th they look so scared. What are they running from? Fluttershy, what have you done? You let them out of the abattoir on purpose, didn't you? I didn't you? Oh, oh, I... Ruined! Years of hard work all flushed down the drain! Fluttershy, I'll, I'll skin you for this! Oh Marie, my god. I thought you said your raw materials were just recycled from the already dead bodies yeah, of creatures lied. that died of natural she causes. Lied. You. You lied? Oh, grow up, Twilight! Of course I lied! Everyone lies! Only fools and foes think everyone is telling the truth all the time! And I am neither a fool nor a fool! Rarity, you've been... You've been raising rare creatures so that you can harvest their skins for your fashion line? Don't you... Dare judge me! I had nothing, Twilight! Nothing! She is except a dependent who could not even speak or walk outside without collapsing and crying until I carried her back inside. I had bills to pay, Twilight, and they kept growing and growing until I was about to lose everything. I had no other options left to me. My family couldn't help. My friends were all gone. You decided you would rather hide away like a hermit in Cantalock Castle, pretending you were too dead to help me. So I did what needed to be done in order to survive. But that's monstrous. What's monstrous is that everything I worked so hard for is burning in front of my eyes. I'll bet Fluttershy was just waiting for an opportunity to let you them out. You can at least acknowledge what you did was barbaric. The destruction of your presence was just the excuse she Even needed if it was to do right. what she always wanted to do. The ungrateful wretch. I, I gave up everything for her. I was hurt and humiliated for her. And this is how she repays me? Rarity, that's not fair. This wasn't all Fluttershy's fault. You're right, Twilight. It's not her fault. Oh dear. This is all oh your dear. fault. Oh dear. If you had not come back, if you had not written that stupid letter and brought them together to come here, everything would have been fine. We would have carried on with our separate lives and been happy. Don't no. you see, you sniveling little coward? We don't need Ouch. you anymore, Twilight Sparkle. We learned how to ah. cope without you. You left us. You abandoned us when we needed you the most. She and didn't know she was in a coma. We worlds back into our lives and act like that didn't happen. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Jeez. And instead, you were just lounging around in the royal castle. She's, she's living absolutely the highlight delusional. Behind Princess Luna, while we struggled and hurt, and. and. well, you should have just stayed dead if that's all you thought of us. If you hadn't. You take that back. Act. Where are you going? You can't just leave after. Just. don't, Rarity. Yes. I'm taking Rainbow Dash. 
and I'm leaving. You're right. I did wrong by you. And I can't pretend that I didn't. I should never have tried to reconnect with you. I'm... I'm sorry I came back at all. You can't just leave! What about my house? I'm sure you have insurance. You can buy another house. Maybe you can even buy yourself some new friends. Some mm. who better fit your new lifestyle. And your new values, too. You know what? I... I hate you, Twilight Sparkle! And I hate you, Fluttershy! You ungrateful little traitor! You are nothing without that me! Hurts. Let's see that how hurts. long you can survive without me there to That's protect painful. and look after you! That's very, very Go painful. On. Run away! Hearing that. I, I don't need you! I don't need anyone! <laughs> All the voice actors here, I swear to God, they are incredible. Is a lie. Oh my God, why does that... <laughs> that reminds me, that friendship is a lie. That is so like AC Race Fest on a, um, I think it was a Who's Lines It Anyway. And he and he li and he said one of his one of his cards. So they were doing whose line, which is basically a ca uh, basically you bring out cards of just different lines, which you read out to try and interpret in the scene. And one of the and one of the lines, because he was playing Twilight Sparkle, and one of the lines was maybe friendship isn't magic after all. I like the, <laughs> it's a very um, stupid comparison to make, but for some reason that's just that's just got me laughing because it's just reminded me of that. I'm fu and to be honest, I'm fucking broken from this. I'm fucking breaking. <laughs> I'm actually breaking inside. Oh, the flame animation, bloody hell. <laughs> to be concluded. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this is a bit of an overtop reaction, I'm sorry, but oh my god. I actually have tears in my eyes. I'm not sure if you can say it. I do actually have tears in my eyes. Oh my god. Now we have to go through this depressing piece of music again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually cry I'm actually crying. I thought the first episode was gonna make me cry, but I've actually I've actually got tears in my eyes. I I can't even like give like I can't even think of like an analysis for this because I'm genuinely just hurting inside. I haven't even finished this series yet. <laughs> oh my god. Colleen, I need, I need a song to cheer me up, please. <laughs> I'm sorry if there's a bit of audio distortion from the, um, from my shouting, but holy shit. If this doesn't emphasize I need to hide my tears from my family because. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so fucking hurt, sore inside. I'm so sore. Oh my god. And that was so painfully long. That was so long. No, I think the next episode is an over an hour. I I won't. I'm. I'm you. Next episode may quite possibly be the end of my life. <laughs> Certainly the end of my sanity. It won't it won't be the end of my life, don't, that was an exaggeration, but seriously, I'm breaking inside. I'm breaking. I'm hurting so, so fucking much. Oh my god, see if there's anyone I know. Rock Hopper. God. Zafina Eleven, she did Rhonda as well. Zafina the Eleven. So she did, um, she was a uh, Xanthos. She was the character designer for Xanthos. 
She was one of those that commented on the first episode. Honestly, if you don't like this video, then I've just suffered for nothing. You realise? I've suffered for nothing. And here, and here Carlene's singing about dolphins. About being heroes. Suddenly this song's not so fitting anymore. What make it matter so much worse is how cold it is in here. It's so cold. I don't know, because it just said there was Ali Pack. Maybe I was thinking of her. I know if, um, one of one of the commenters on my first episode was the character designer for Xanthos, and I remember responding, "You have created a beautiful monstrosity." <laughs> it's a major time. Guys, I'm finished. <laughs> I want my mother. Pie of the Beholder. That is gonna. F I, I I don't know. I could. Ha I've hardly survived this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm struggling. I'm really, really fucking struggling. You can hear my voice breaking. I think. Oh my fucking god. You can hear me breaking a little bit. Um. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I can't like I can't analyze this because I'm so fucking unhappy. Um, uh, oh my god. Oh. Right. Well. Thanks for watching. I suppose if you suffered as much as as much as I did, then leave a dislike. <laughs> no. Um. Don't actually please. Uh, but uh, seriously. <laughs> oh. Like. As much as, as much as is distressing, feeling these amount of emotions, I will say it's a very kind of enlightening experience. It kind of ma it makes you realise that you are kind of human, that you're watching this and um, kind of you're having an appropriate reaction to it. But I think what makes it so painful is just these are characters you've we've known, like for the better part of the past decade, of of, of just about over a decade now, and. Um, just seeing them in these position in these positions it's it just it tears at my heartstrings so much <laughs> and um this series is so fucking brilliant just it's so cathartic it's so cathartic and <laughs> Um, I'm not, I might take, I might or may or may not take a break for Christmas, um, because next, next Monday I'll have, like, more family rounds, like, and just, just, just busy, really, but, so I'm not sure if I will get this finished before, uh, uh before the new year, like, maybe make the, make Pie of the Beholder, like, a New Year's special or something like that, but, I, do, I tell you what, I do have a more uplifting uh, Christmas reaction in store, which I plan to upload on the 24th. Um, which, uh, so look out for that. But as for now, I think I'm going to go have a lie down and a bit of a cry, if I'm totally honest. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching. And... Um, here's looking, for, looking forward. Here's, looking, here's to looking forward for episode 7. See you guys.